up there. Day four of our UP road trip. We got an early morning start as we made our three and a half hour drive from Munising to the Keweenaw Peninsula. It was a chilly morning and once again I had woken up ill but did my best to press on as I was excited to see the northernmost point of the UP. The day started off with clear skies but storms loomed in the distance. We knew we had to do our best to get some hiking in before heavy winds and thunderstorms rolled in. Even though I wasn't feeling well, I found peace as we drove through the beautiful towns such as Marquette, Lance, Houghton, and soon Copper Harbor. Growing up traveling state highways and visiting small towns was an adventure I enjoyed as a young kid. Seeing the small towns brought back so many memories. We were not sure what to expect out of the day as we had planned on visiting a hodgepodge of destinations. Whatever we saw and run into, we were sure to enjoy our day in this beautiful region. Good morning and welcome to the beautiful Kiwina Peninsula. Oh, it's a lot different weather up here. We are pretty much the most northern point of the upper peninsula of Michigan and so it's a little cooler up here and it looks like it's going to be a little more rainier. <laughs> uh, today's going to be a hodgepodge kind of day full of different little trails and sightseeing so I'm not sure what we're going to get into so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, right now we're on the Bear Bluff Trail and as you saw from that sign earlier we're far from anywhere that's going to help us if we get lost. <laughs> Anywho, enjoy, and we'll see you down the trail. The Bear Bluffs Trail is located in the Russell and Miriam Grinnell Memorial Nature Sanctuary. From the top of the bluff, you can find a 180 degree view of Manitou Island to Point Isabel to Point Gris. This bluff is the most prominent feature on the south shore of the Keweenaw Peninsula. There are many signs warning us of the dangers of the trail as we embarked on what we first thought was a lazy trail, but we were proven wrong when we got to our first glance of the towering cliffs and the over 300 foot climb to the top. I think we might have underestimated this trail just a bit. <laughs> We're doing all kinds of rock bouldering here, trying to get around. These rock faces are amazing. And the color of the rocks are like, all crazy kind of colors, pinks and greens and grays. It's really cool. It's on going.
pretty wild uh, trail and the rain started to come in and man the wind is kicking up. Woo! Gotta love this. Bear Bluffs is down. Awesome trail. Started off a little slow but man we're well, we greeted with some wild climbs and some beautiful views. And of course it wouldn't be a trail without us if it didn't rain. <laughs> Samuel, what are your thoughts? Man, what a pleasant surprise. Uh, didn't expect there to be so much challenge and healthy amounts of risk involved, but those overlooks made it all worth it and very reminiscent of the Pine Mountain Trail and maybe even some stuff in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. Super rugged, love it. Oh yeah, all right, on to the next one. See you down the trail. It's cold. And it's windy. <laughs> Does it look like tourist or what? <laughs> Built in 1851, the Eagle Harbor Lighthouse assisted navigation for ships servicing the copper mining industry. Originally a wooden tower, it was replaced by the present brick structure in 1871. Attended by 22 keepers since 1851, the lighthouse was automated in 1980. The choppy waters and harsh weather were just a taste of what the ships have to endure every day carrying goods across Lake Superior. Brockway Mountain is named after Daniel Brockway, one of the founding residents of the area. The peak stands tall at 1,320 feet above sea level and 720 feet above Lake Superior. Isle Royal can be seen from 50 miles away. The 10-mile scenic Brockway Mountain Road is the highest paved road between the Rockies and the Alleghenies. Built in 1844, Fort Wilkins was intended to keep law and order during the Copper Rush. It is home to two lighthouses built in 1866 and 1868. Restored in the 1930s, it is now a museum run by the Michigan History Center. Open seasonally, interpreters demonstrate the history of the Keweenaw Peninsula Fort. I hope you enjoy Keweenaw Peninsula, also known as the Copper Peninsula. We are now at Fort Wilkins State Park overlooking Lake Superior, and uh, Lake Fanny Ho is right behind us. Um, had a blast. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to wrap up our awesome, epic uh, trip along the UP of Michigan, but we had a great time. Unfortunately, the weather has turned to sour note, and so is my health. So. We decided to call it quits here. I uh, really do wanted to see the uh, Porcupine Mountains, but you know what? That just gives us something to do on another trip. So I hope you enjoyed this video series. We had an absolute blast hiking up here and enjoying the beautiful scenery of Michigan. So if you like these videos, hit that like button, send me a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And always remember, Support your local beekeeper. Do you look like tourists or what? <laughs> <sighs>